Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of College Cuisine here on Turtle Mitchell's YouTube channel. I'm Turtle Mitchell. I'm going to, uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, this cookbook, the ramen cookbook. And we're going to be looking at ramen spaghetti tacos. So, what you're going to need, wait, what you're going to need, where's the tomatoes? What you're going to need is tomatoes. 98 cents per pound tomato sauce 88 cents um taco shells like dollar 28 ramen two packs don't know how much it was because i buy them in bulk all the time and cheese like two dollars so first step is you got to Boil your 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 ramen. That's gonna take a little while, so we're gonna start that first. Actually, I usually boil the ramen first instead of I mean boil the water first instead of putting the ramen in while it's boiling. Oh, my main man Aaron has just diced our tomatoes. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. I already got the tomato sauce going. We're, today we're using Hunts' four cheese pasta sauce, premium. These spaghetti tacos were first made famous by uh, Spencer from iCarly, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I think that was the inspiration, and so they put, just put ramen in it so that people who are cheap um, can feel like they're cooking. You know, sometimes I wish uh, I had a I had a, like a covering, like like an apron, you know? But like, so it matches my tie, so I want it to be blue. So like, a, a blue apron, you know? Spaghetti tacos were first seen in iCarly season one, and later in SpongeBob SquarePants season nine. Spaghetti tacos were in season nine of SpongeBob? Yeah. Where, when? In season nine. Well, like, what was he doing? Yeah, so now you guys have foot fetish. What are you waiting for? Water to boil. Well, you know they say don't look at it or else it'll get scared. While we're waiting for the water to boil, I've brought on a special guest. Michelangelo, how the frick are ya? <laughs> That's good, buddy. Um, so, uh, when, what, do you, what do you do for a living? Very nice, very nice. So, uh, uh, when you're off work, like, uh, what, what kind of hobbies do you do? Yeah, I wish I could do that, but, uh, my body just does it. My, my body prevents me from uh, doing that. So, uh, are you ready to eat some spaghetti tacos? <laughs> yeah, me too. Bye bye. Now our water, water seems to be boiling. Oh shoot! It calls for two, but it said it makes four servings, and I'm not a big lad, so. It also says to discard the flavoring. We're not gonna do that. This is college cuisine. Not college throwaway food in the trash, no. I love the crumb. Sometimes I just eat ramen raw. Some, sometimes it just takes too long to cook, you know? All right. So you're supposed to drain the drain the noodles, but I don't have a noodle strainer, so we're gonna improvise. We're just gonna try it. All right, while we're waiting for that to to you know heat up, maybe cool down or whatever, uh, we're gonna be making some El Paso taco shells. 
you're supposed to put it on high for 45 minutes, but this is a bad uh, microwave. Um, so we're gonna put it in there for a minute. Do you put 60 or 100? Oh, I put 66. You can just press add minute and then it'll automatically go. Too high tech for me. It's one button. Yeah, but then you have to press another button to start. No, you don't. It starts by itself. If you just hit one minute. Well, too late now. I've already pressed 60. Make sure to stir your ramen in the spaghetti. As to make it look uh, nice and even, you want a little bit of red, but still be able to see your noodles. I'm a, I'm a regular uh, gusto when it comes to ramen. I was gonna say the guy. I was gonna say the guy from Hell's Kitchen, but I forgot his name. Gordon Ramsay. That's what it is. Good job. How can you ever forget? Look at that. Look at that spaghetti taco. Oh, I just got. Oh, oh, don't fall. Okay. Let's look at that. Let's check our. Whoa, why is it steaming? Take our plate. Get a taco shell that's not burnt. Look at that. Maybe that's why it was smoking. I don't care. I'm not gonna make more tacos. Yeah. At some point, you may just want to use your hands. They're gonna get dirty anyway, so makes no difference. All right. Got the taco with the noodles. You want to put a little tomato in there. And we've got two kinds of cheese. We got the Mexican blend and the mild cheddar cheese. I'm going to use both. for the first time. Don't forget the shrimp flavoring. Oh yeah. And this is why you don't discard the flavor. Because you might want to put it on your taco to make it like a little shrimp taco. To describe the taste, I'm reminded of what my mother said when I was born. We'll try to make a better one next time. So, spaghetti tacos, pretty good. You know, I got it cheap, I got all the stuff at Winco. The meal probably cost under $5, maybe even $4. Maybe it was like two dollars actually. I don't know, because I can make multiple meals. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, for the rating, I'm gonna have to give it uh, four out of five Del Taco burgers. You know, pretty good, above my expectations, but I'd rather have something else, you know? But, like I said, this is college cuisine. We can't get picky on college cuisine. Thanks for watching. Remember to be nice to someone. Always eat your ramen. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.